Hello, sports fan. This is Stevie Nair with Sports Choice Plus, and I'm covering a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering, did Caitlin Clark really deserve to be a unanimous Rookie of the Year? Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. With all the votes except one, 66 votes, Caitlin Clark was almost the fifth WNBA's unanimous Rookie of the Year. When you're thinking about just what happened, the struggles early on, when you think about so much that went on and 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 helped that team be what it was, Kaylin Clark struggled for the most part. Um, she found her footing after the Olympics, and she played terrific, leading mostly all WNBA scorers, rookies-wise, in points, assists, and, and close to rebounds. When you look at just what she was able to do with the Indiana Fever, there's no reason why someone should have voted for Angel Reese as far as that goes. Yes, Andrew Reese had a superb rebounding season. Yes, she had a great rookie season. But you got to think, Kaylin Clark laid the foundation for the Indiana Fever to be great moving forward. Yes, it was more than just her on the team playing an inspiring game of basketball. But you got to think, what she brought to the WNBA, look at just the ticket sales and the games that she's headlining or going against another team for. Look at the TV ratings, the millions of people that watch. Not only was she killing it on the court, she was killing it off the court. The ambassador of the WNBA and essentially one of the most, you know, targeted players in the NBA. When you think about game plan, when you think about she was on ESPN almost every single night because of what they were doing to her or trying to stop her for and how she was able to still continuously pull out wins for the Indian F fever. Not only being a leader on her team, but but essentially dropping dimes, dropping uh, big three pointer after three pointer, making sure the uh, extra pass was made, being flashy with the no look passes. Caitlin Clark did a lot of things for the Indiana Fever that you can't put on tape from the standpoint of just helping evolve the women's game. And when you think about it, when she was on the court against her peers that were rookies, she dominated. So from the standpoint of anybody, and I know people are saying that Cheryl Swoops may have been the one person to vote. I don't know that to be true. I can't accuse Cheryl Swoops of anything. But if it is Cheryl Swoops, something needs to be done about that. Because you just got to ask yourself, when it's clear as day that that young lady had a great season and there was so much shoulders and head above the next young lady that was in line, you got to ask yourself, what are we really voting here? Are we being honest with ourselves? The, 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 the impressive rebounds is cool. But you got to think, how many shots did Andrew Reese miss to get all those rebounds? Her, her shooting percentage plummeted because she was missing a lot of layups, missing a lot of shots that was around the basket five, five to six feet or less away. So if you're throwing the ball up, grabbing a rebound, throwing the ball up, grabbing a rebound, that's that's impressive. But you got to ask yourself, did it help the Chicago Sky be better? Were they a playoff team because of it? No. So you got to ask yourself, Caitlin Clark's dynamics on the basketball court helped the Indiana Fever. She was the most valuable player for her team as a rookie. She stood out amongst all the scores as a rookie. She not only took that, the three-point percentage was high. Free throw percentage was high. She did everything that you could possibly do to help the team win and, and took her team to the playoffs. One of the only rookies to take her team to the playoffs, to lead the team to the playoffs. So essentially, yes, she deserved every single vote. And I think they should make voting public from here on out. I think that because if you're going to do something egregious like this, I think you need to be identified so we can get to know what was the reason why you didn't vote. What was the reason, whoever, male or female, what was the reason you didn't vote for Caitlin Clark? What was the purpose? Because her play significantly showed this is the best rookie that was taken, number one overall. So all you Indiana Fever fans, all you WNBA fans, get in the comment section, do you feel like she, she deserved unanimous rookie of the year? I believe she did. She deserved a lot more votes for MVP as well. So that's just my take on it. Get in the comment section. We'll check you out on the next video.